All right, this BMW just came from a Firestone and the AC wasn't working and they attempted to recharge it two or three times with no success and they brought it to this shop. Let's see, it's a 2018, um, I don't know the model too well on BMWs. Sorry guys. It is a X-Drive 440i. Now, when I first put on my gauges, it was shooting up to 420 PSI. And my first thing that came to my mind was it was overcharged. But then I remembered the 440i from problems in a body shop. Oops, down here. Uh, let's see, we're at 281 PSI with the system off and resting. The low side is at 69 PSI, 280. Now you're gonna watch this thing nearly skyrocket, I believe to the roof because the high side. Let's find out here. Let's see if it was doing 420 before and that's usually the cutoff right close to the cutout. So let's start it up. Let's put it in maximum. Bada bing, bada boom. Now let's watch that high side for, whoa, 400. 400, there we go, that's where it cuts out at. It's 4, 420, 425. So we're cutting out on high pressure cutout right now. It's not overcharged, because I just charged it. I recovered it, charged it, vacuumed it, and that's exactly what I thought was gonna happen. Boom, there it goes up again. Came back on, instantly off. So this is the pattern. This does not have a condenser like a normal condenser. It has a glycol heat exchanger. And I believe, without testing, that it's a glycol coolant flow problem through the plate heat exchanger. So, there's the plate heat exchanger. You guys should all be familiar with that right now. It has the expansion valve, the receiver dryer to it. And there's no condenser up here. That is a glycol heat exchanger. That's all filled with glycol. That's not refrigerant. And it exchanges the heat to bring down the head pressure through that plate heat exchanger. And it's not happening because we got plenty of fan. I mean, we're blowing. We're blowing like you can't believe there. We could, we're, we're, we're an aircraft. If this thing was up in the air, it'd be, it's pulling so much air, it'd fly. But uh, yeah, we're going to be going looking at a coolant flow issue for that high side because we're cutting out at high pressure cut 136 or 444 437 441 and you see how it cuts in and out cuts in and out this is the low side low side goes down to 56 is its lowest going up to 82 so the shop's going to look for a coolant flow glycol coolant flow issue, not a refrigerant problem, a glycol problem. All right, guys, stay up, stay smart, educate yourself, and spread the knowledge. Help other people. See you guys. Uh, when I get an update on this, exactly what's wrong with this, without that, I'm not going to diagnose it. The shop's going to diagnose it. But once they uh, determine, I'll let you guys know.